do you show them all 24 or do you find a few of them where you can make your, you know, you know I don't want to say pitch, but like yeah. show them this is where we have to get to. No, I think there, there are constant themes. So I think without belaboring the point, I think you can find a, you know, a theme or two and find a couple of examples of, hey, this is what happens when you do it right. Here's us not doing it the right way and the result. So, uh, you know, you don't have to beat a dead horse dead, so to speak. But at the same time, we've got to hammer the point. If, if we're not doing it the right way, we're not doing it with effort, we're not communicating, then, yeah, we're going to give up a lot of threes. How much of that started with dribble penetration? A lot of it. Your a lot of it. And, you know, and that's, it's, yeah, it's on the, the guy to contain his man. At least the first bounce gives you a chance to bring help. But it's also, there were sit, plenty of situations where we're helping, but we're overhelping. Now three or four come into the ball and, you know, that, that just opens up the floor. So I think it's, you know, your heart's in the right place because you're thinking I'm my teammates beat, but there's got to be a little bit more discipline as far as what we're doing. Otherwise, we're, we're chasing our tails. And that led, I think, to quite a few of those 24 threes. Yes, the luxury of having a shot blocker, could that also be guys just saying, well, gap is back there? I hope not. I mean, I think you got to take take the pride of, you know, hey, I'm going to try and stay in front of my man. I'm going to trust my help. I'm not going to rely on it. And that's got to be something that it's a, it's a mindset, of course. But it's one of those things where, you know, you know you got help back there, but you shouldn't need help every possession. It was good. It was really good. And, uh, you know, he didn't make shots. You know, we got him off the ball playing second side pick and roll, which I thought was great. Uh, he made the right reads. I thought that, that that second unit, the third unit, rather, they moved the ball exceptionally well. You know, once again, we were five for 31 from three, so we didn't make shots. But we generated the, the right types of shots that we're looking to generate. Uh, we'll make those. You know, I, I'm not worried about that. But we played the right way. Um, and I think that's just something we can be happy about. Gafford had the three blocks in 37 seconds yeah. at one point, but he also stayed out of foul trouble. He got in foul trouble that night. What right. do you think was different in that regard? Why was he able to do that? It goes back to the discipline and purpose. You know, I think the other night he was a little eager. So, you know, whether he was off balance or just trying to time it up, he was a little bit more deliberate and patient. Just like, I can always go get it late. Just calm down. Understand probably, you know, the guy he's guarding his personnel a little better, but um, if he can do that at a high rate, and I'm not saying he's going to average three blocks a game. I mean, if he can, <laughs> that's terrific. But, um, you know, be a rim presence, you know, protect the basket, but also do it with, with discipline, you know, because we need him on the floor. I think with, with him on the floor, it would be helpful. What are you seeing out of Kyle so far? It looks like he's still settling in a little bit. Uh, I, yeah, I would agree with that. Um, and I think a lot of it, um, I think there's a little uncertainty. He's turned down, in my opinion, quite a few open looks. We need him to shoot the ball. He's a terrific shooter. And I think once he gets a rhythm, that he's going to be shooting into a big basket. But he's got to just trust himself. And whether it goes in or, or not, if it's the right type of shot, I can't, I can't argue against it. Keep taking the right types of shots. Uh, play the right way. And if it's a make or miss, then fine. Uh, but I, I, I don't want him to turn it down, drive into the pack, and get himself in trouble. Kispert uh, started the last game and now we didn't see him until the second half of the third quarter. Um, was that just a matter of you didn't trying to get Denny and, and KCP in the mix? Absolutely. Um, and I, I talked to him this morning. So don't read in, into it. it. It means absolutely nothing. But obviously Pope missed the game. Denny's, you know, first game back. So wanted to kind of get those to a rhythm, get them up to speed a little bit. Um, and it speaks to our depth. You know, that some nights somebody's going to be on the outside looking in. But, uh, you know, he's a pro and he understands, and, you know, we'll have plenty of opportunity. Uh, I thought his minutes were, were impactful. So he continues to make the, the, the correct strides um, and give himself a chance. But, you know, we want to see what Pope did with that first group. Um, and obviously, Denny's, you know, first crack at it. We wanted to make sure he had extended runs and not chop up his minutes too much. With that lineup, that um, gap for Tons, Neto, Holiday, Kispert, what do you – like, what do you like about that group? It's such a funky looking group. Yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's funky, but it's also uh, the way they play. There's a pace at which they play in the half court. That ball is just moving. And once again, we didn't make shots out of it, but you know, it's really nice to see the level of chemistry that the, that group has had. Um, and it's not just tonight. We've seen it in practice. 
they've really challenged, you know, that first unit quite a bit. So I, I think it's great where your depth is, is somewhat balanced and it can be competitive. Neil? Hey, Coach, I think Ava asked a little bit about Denny, but in terms of the stuff that you wanted him to retain, the defensive, you know, nomenclature, the different concepts you talked about, how did you see and assess him there? Uh, for the most part, good. You know, I think uh, there were some, obviously some missed assignments. Um, and it just goes back to the game plan discipline. You know, w when to chase a guy, when to gap a guy, um, and then using his voice. And that's going to be a constant theme for him. Um, I did, just think it's just got to be something he, he does, and we have to prod him a little bit to do it. But the louder, the earlier, and, and more often. Feels good to be back. Um, obviously, the atmosphere changed. We got some fans now. Um, I can see some people in the stands, all the bench sitting together. So those things, uh, first of all, felt good. Uh, Playing-wise, I miss basketball. I miss being on the court, miss being on the NBA court. Um, I don't take anything for granted. So I enjoy every moment. I enjoy to be there with my uh, teammates, coaches, fans. And um, hopefully we're going to have fun this season. Jimmy, what was your checklist of things you kind of wanted to get done getting back out there on the court? For me, the first things that I wanted uh, to like to experience is for sure the pace of the game. I uh, didn't ran um, in this space for a long time, probably like six months. So first of all, to uh, get used to the pace, to the physicality, um, playing playing defense, you know, having this um, energy of running up and down, going through plays, and um, just like have fun. You know, it's it's only basketball in the end of the day, right? I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest right now, and I'll say it, it wasn't easy for me. After six months coming in um, to an NBA game after a long time, it's it's not easy. So my body needed to adjust, uh, the game style needed to adjust, the pace needed to adjust. So um, I'm getting there. It's it's a good first step for me for sure. What do you think was uh, the problem with free throw defense tonight? Uh, you got a lot of points. I mean, we 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 had some lacks on defense, obviously, but um, I'm not worried because we got uh, good defenders on this team. We're very experienced. We have a great co coaching staff that's gonna show us film and, and and correct the things we didn't do good. And I'll, I'll give them that they they shot they shot great today. They shot great today. We didn't shoot uh, in good percentage. I think we we're like five from 30, 30 um, 35, right? Five for thirty five. Yeah. Um, so, uh, in the end of the day, they shot good today. We didn't, uh, play our best defense. And, uh, of course we're going to come back, correct it. Um, we have the right, um, chemistry and guys around us to, to fix it and we're going to get better. What would you say the win was over the course of the week? Again? How was your win? My win? Uh, so <laughs> at some point it wasn't, it wasn't easy. Um, but I did conditioning for a long time. I did a lot of conditioning. I had a great, um, I had a great um, coaching staff, trainers that really helped me uh, be ready out there tonight. Um, still need to get in the rhythm. Still need to get in the rhythm. But um, yeah, as I said, it's it's a good first step to have. First good, uh, first good step. So I know you said you were getting adjusted to the pace, but. Uh first glimpse of year two did anything slow down for you 100 100 like i wasn't as like i think the right word was shocked my first year uh some uh some moments some nba players that i uh came against and uh it wasn't easy my first year but second year you already know where you are you like you know the you know the arena you you've seen it all you've seen all the teams you faced it you faced all the defenses in the league and the only thing was for me is just, you know, getting a rhythm, like for the all, all the, the other team, the defense, the plays they run, everything slowed down for me. Yeah, I'm much more experienced. I feel more mature, feel stronger, feel better. I'm moving pretty well. So um, I can say, um, yeah, slow down. Jimmy, what do you think the coach said to Trey tomorrow in the film session? What do you think the first thing he'll show you? 
I mean, for sure, our defense. I mean, a lot of times um, we had bad positions on defense. I think on offense, we did a pretty good job. I mean, we moved the ball. We just didn't make our threes. But on defense, it's, it's our it's, – we, we were and go today. Um, rebounds, a lot of offensive rebounds by, 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 by New York. And, um, you know, just go through the defense, make corrections if needed. Um, but you can see the talent. You can see, you can see a lot of talent in, in, in our squad, and and I'm I'm super positive about it. So I'm not worried about the coaches' side. They they're gonna do a great job fixing the problem. So, all right, Danny, we'll just take some questions from Zoom. Let's start with Yaron. Um, I'll do it uh, in English, and then later uh, move to uh, Hebrew. Okay, uh, Danny, uh, how was your uh, feeling getting those two uh, easy buckets, you know, after a long time. You need to start from, from something, right? I mean, uh, around the floor, I always run the floor. Uh, had uh, two great passes by Brad and Ron Howell. And just, it, it's, a good, it's a good first step to, to get it going, to, to fill it out a little bit, to get one, two ba uh, baskets. Um, yeah, to get in the rhythm, basically. Felt good. Thanks. Sure. Uh, Neil. Hey, Denny. Um, Coach wanted, said yesterday that, you know, he wanted you to kind of retain some of the concepts and defensive terminology, um, given that, you know, you're getting up to speed now. Where would you say that you are in that process? And where, what would you say is your next step? In terms of what? In terms of getting back up to speed, because Coach said, you know, the other guys, you know, have been running five on five longer than you've gotten to so far. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm getting there. As 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 I've said here multiple times, I think um, coaches do a great job of of getting me in, getting me in rhythm. Uh, those minutes right now was very important for me uh, to feel how is it to play with my teammates on the court, uh, the whole atmosphere again, and um, just just to feel what is to play basketball. I mean, a lot of people forget that six months is a lot of time of, of like not touching a basketball. So. Like getting in rhythm, of course, um, being in scrimmage more, playing more, and um, just going through it. So that's about it. And then, you know, you had the one early pass to Montrez Harrell in the first quarter. You kind of kind of shoveled it, tried to dump it off. He couldn't finish. But then, and then also in the third quarter, you had the pass to Howell. Would you say that it's, you know, your first option to always look to get your teammates involved, or is it just what the defense gives you? I think I, I read uh, defense is pretty good. Uh, I've seen New York are over helping a lot. So me just getting the ball, I'm always looking for my teammates. Uh, I love to play make. I love to make plays for others uh, since I started playing basketball. Yeah, that was one of my, my biggest things. It's like I'm always looking for the extra pass. I'm always looking for the open man. Um, for me, that's, that's, the right, that's the right way of basketball. So um, if my teammates are open and I trust my teammates, yeah, you 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 bet. I'm gonna gonna make that extra pass. It felt good, you know, just to get out there, you know, to play, you know, to get up and run up and down the court a little bit. Uh, you know, it just felt good, you know, just to be out there. Um, still trying to figure out, you know, new teammates and stuff like that. How you know, I'm gonna play around them, stuff like that. But uh, I'm gonna get there. What was the common thread for the three point defense in New York? We gave up a lot of open ones, I would say. Uh, we didn't take emphasis in like closing out, you know, to the chest of the shooters, um, or, or either running them off the line. Um, it was closing short, and it was just, you know, it was lining it up and knocking them down. Um, very chill, you know, collective, you know, I feel like, you know, he was, uh, haven't really, you know, amped up a little bit. Um, yeah. I think he was, just, he was, he was solid tonight. I would, I would say, uh, just trying to get everybody involved, you know, looking for his, uh, and just playing. I hope so. What do you apply to those first two games? Do you see them kind of just getting into the rhythm of the season? Uh, yeah, uh, I played with Kuz for, for a little minute now. 
Um, he, he's a rhythm guy. You know, once he get into his rhythm, he he's going to start playing well. You know, uh, making plays. You know, knocking down shots. Uh, doing what he you know he know how to do. Um, so, I mean, eventually he's, he's going to get there. You know, we we just started. It's the second preseason game. You know, it's early, uh, and we we still trying to figure each other out. So, I mean, film and practice is what we're going to uh, put most of our emphasis, uh, and and we're going to get better. In your experience with scoring now, to get ready for the season opener. No, uh, in, in my experience, no, it's not. Uh, but. I mean, it's all it's all on us. You know how how much do we want it? You know, do, do we all have the same goal? You know, uh, we we got to continue to talk to each other, you know, and figure that out. How was talking on the floor tonight, especially for you? Not good enough, I would say. You know, we missed some communication. Uh, we we messed up some communication. Where as far as like trying to switch or the call. Uh, you got to get that right, uh, and we're going to be good. What did you see from uh, Denny tonight? It was his first game, second game in six months. Um, he played well. No, pretty solid. Uh, still got a lot of work. Uh, we got to gotta get him to you know, stay focused out there. You know, he, uh, I feel like he, I think he messed up a couple plays. Uh, just got to you know, start just you – know, just, Get into it, you know. He's uh, I haven't really you know, watched him play or anything, um, but I can see the energy and the effort that he gives, uh, which is going to be good for us. How difficult is it to guard the three point line in this day and age in, in the NBA, where so many there's so many shooters and so many teams that can roll out lineups with, with guys who can shoot from deep? It's hard, you know. Uh, that's where the game is going. Um, a lot of threes, you know. Even from from one through five, uh, we getting it all. Um, I mean, we just got to play hard, give a, give effort. Um, I feel like we can get a, uh, we can cut out a lot of stuff that we gave up tonight um, if we just play hard.